Hi, I'm Tresta, and I just want to show you one of our Head Start classrooms here at Fayette County. Um, come on in and let's look around. All right, so we all know that we're under a lot of COVID restrictions. So half of our children only come um, on Monday, Tuesday, and the other half come on Thursday, Friday. So that gives us room to social distance. Um, over here, um, we have our table toys. And as you can see, they are all in individual bins. That's so that the children can pick up their table toys and go over to the table and do their thing and do their learning. Um, and then when they come back at the end of the day, we spray them and no one is cross contaminated. Over here we have our circle area. And as you can see, we only have 10 children. There's plenty of room for the children to dis social distance themselves. Um, there's a lot of learning that goes on here. As you can see our alphabet and the teachers love to use their smart boards um, to play interactive games with the kids. Um, over here we have our library area. Um, there are books out here, but there are also books in the children's individual bins um, so that the children have their own books and they have, they can cozy up and they can read a book safely um, on their own. Coming over here, this is our table area. Um, we have included some table shields so that when the children are playing table toys or art or they're eating, um, they can do so safely and they can talk to their friends and we don't have to worry about any um, contamination or anyone getting someone sick. If we come around here, this is where all of the children's art supplies are. Again, they are in individual bins, so the children can take their bins, come to the table, and they can draw, interact with their teachers and their friends safely. Over here, again, this is the art area. And it's like very bare right now because we don't want the children having um, a lot of materials out there actually in their bins. And back here is our sensory area. And this is where a lot of the table toy or the sand and water happen. And the children have individual sand toys. And I believe there are bins um, when it's water time that they can have their own individual water bins and then the bins get emptied and sanitized at the end of the day. So that is a day in the classroom of Fayette County Head Start. Hi everybody, I'm Gina Bowen. I am the CDE manager here at Head Start Early Head Start of Fayette County. This is our Lee Montfernos playground. You'll see this structure at some of our sites. Um, this one was actually introduced by my daughter and the director at the time about seven years ago, so we've had it for quite some time. You'll see here they like to sell lemonade here. Um, sometimes they'll change it up and it'll be the bakery or the uh, theater or our studio, whatever they have on their minds that day. It has the slides, the open and the covered slide. And there's also a chair leading up. Um, we like to use this for um, children who need that extra movement, um, who have some disabilities and things. They're able to use the railing. Here they're able to use these handrails to keep them safe. And, um, you know, a lot of our playground structures are more about they're inventive play and creative play. It's not just about running around and having outdoor time. It's the social emotional aspect that goes along with gross motor play. So you'll see here they can also do the rope climb. They can go underneath for some alone time and sit and talk and play in there. They're able to play the famous game of tic-tac-toe over here. Let's see this spin and play. Um, at this time, they are not using the play structure due to COVID. We are following safety practices from the CDC and not having them use them uh, due to having the sanitizing between every child's play, which is just a little too much and it takes away from the play time. So they are able to come outdoors. They have binoculars. Um, they go on bear hunts and different things like that. They have tricycles with helmets, uh, scooters, sidewalk chalk. Pull hoops, any kind of thing we can take outside, we've ordered and they have you to play with. This is our shade structure. You'll see these at most of our playgrounds. 
it really does provide a nice, good bit of shade. Um, they have their picnic table under the seat underneath. And it's just a nice place where they can come and cool down um, when they need to, when it's really sunny and hot. This is just a house here that they can turn into anything they want. They have very vivid imaginations. It's not always just a house. Sometimes it's a school and they'll pretend that they're in future. Other times it's a restaurant, whatever they want it to be. We do limit how many children go into the house at one time just to keep it safe when we're here during the rest of the day. And then you'll see the car that they take rides to the dairy queen, to the pizza hut, to wherever. And then also the wall tunnel. And over there in the far corner you'll see um, the different games that they can play. Um, it looks like we're getting a little bit of sun, so now you can actually see where the shade does um, work out here for them to sit on the, on the table. So that's our playground, and we just want to thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions about the Fayette County Head Start at the Private Industry Council, you can look for us on Facebook, you can look for the videos on YouTube, and you can also call our um, office line at 724 430-4818 and uh, 100 or 200 and the clerk will assist you and you can also look us up on privateindustrycouncil.com. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Hi. Um, you may be wondering what a virtual day at Head Start looks like. Um, here at Fayette County Head Start we have um, created bins for um, the children that were sent home. Inside those bins there were materials such as crayons, markers, glue, glue sticks, um, dry erase boards, you name it, it went in there. Um, and that was so that the children could participate in their um, virtual lessons at home and create art or learn to write their name without any additional cost to the parent. Um, the children get one live Zoom a day from the teacher. Um, the Zoom is usually 30 to 40 minutes long, and it consists of usually a circle time, music and movement, um, an art project, and they sometimes will do small group, and within that small group, there are a lot of science experiments. Um, they are also given packets. Your child will also be given a packet um, weekly, and then you can do the packet at home and send the packet in um, for credit. The family also um, will be contacted on a minimum of a couple times a week, but oftentimes daily, just to check in to see how you're doing. Um, we want to make sure that everyone is doing well and that your child is progressing. Um, we also provide meals for every child at Head Start, whether you're at home or whether you come to school. So if you're at home, we will provide you with meals that go out once a week. And um, if you can't pick them up, we will bring them to your house. So as you can see, even though the children aren't here five days a week, our staff are going above and beyond to make sure that the children get a quality education.